Good morning and welcome to this weekend's Gospel Talk, where I will talk about this weekend's coming Gospel, which is the fifth Sunday of Lent, uh, from the Gospel of John. My name is John Herbert. I'm the Director of Mission Integration, Pastoral Care, and also the Chaplain here, Franciscan Villa. And today uh, we are shooting this video from our chapel located in the Franciscan Courts and Franciscan Gardens building, uh, right in the center of both of those buildings, and this is our assisted living facility. Next week, we will look to have uh, our gospel shoot done in Franciscan Villa in the chapel of St. Francis and St. Clair. So let us begin. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and then Andrew and Philip both went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for an eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me, I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. And then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus wants us to be of service to him. In fact, we all probably grew up with the Baltimore Catechism giving us an answer as why we are here. And that answer was, we are here to love and to serve God. And a message to all of you that are listening, if you are still alive and kicking, even if you're not 20 years old anymore, and might have the, the infirmities that we acquire and earn through living many years, if you are still here, your work is not completed. You still have work to do. There are still things that God wants us to do. And what we have to remember that in order to serve him, we must follow him. And Jesus says that right here in the gospel. And we have to lose our worldly life. We have to let go of what we feel is important and let our heart tell us what is important. Remember as children, we had seen uh, cartoons with that little angel on one shoulder and the little devil on the other shoulder telling us what we should do as opposed to what that devil is telling us we should do because it would be much more fun. Well, we have matured from that, and we know what our heart tells us is the message that comes directly to us from our conscience, which in fact is our Holy Spirit, which resides in each one of our hearts. So in order to follow Jesus, in order to follow the Father, we need to let go of the worldly things and start focusing on the spiritual things focusing on what our heart tells us to do and what our heart is calling us to do. And when Jesus says that when a grain of wheat 
falls to the ground, it remains a grain of wheat unless it dies. What he's referring to is dying to today's world, not physically dying. We need to die to the things of the world so we can become much more fruitful as conduits of God. And that is the message that I get from this gospel. Remember that each one of us gets a message. There is no right or wrong answer. If your heart tells you something after you hear this again, this coming Saturday or Sunday, wherever you choose to worship, follow what your heart tells you, because by doing that, you will never, ever go wrong. I thank you once again for listening. I hope you have a blessed fifth weekend and Sunday of Lent. God bless you. Thanks once again for tuning in, and I will see you next week.